Good morning, Cardinal Ambrosic. Today is Friday, June the 5th, 2020. The Catechism of the Catholic Church describes racism as the following. The equality of man and woman rests essentially on their dignity as persons and the rights that flow from it. Every form of social or cultural discrimination in fundamental personal rights on the grounds of sex, race, color, social conditions, language, or religion must be curbed and eradicated as it is incompatible with God's design. Moral judgments on racism based on equality are consistent. Any theory or form whatsoever of racism and racial discrimination is morally unacceptable. And racism is not merely one sin among many, it is a radical evil dividing the human family. In order for us to begin addressing the issue of systemic and institutional racism, we must begin first by converting our ways. That is, we must change how we think, how we behave, and how we relate to one another. We must respect one another and adhere to our inherent dignity and self-respect, for we are all created in the image of God. We must accept our differences, enter into meaningful and difficult dialogue, and examine closely our perceptions of others, even if they are different and opposed to ours. This morning we are reminded of the words spoken by St. John Paul II, and I quote, Systemically, we must unmask social evil and, like prophets, denounce injustice. We must eradicate overt and covert racism. This requires solidarity with those suffering from disadvantages woven into society and our self-perceptions. Our interdependence globally implies a moral responsibility for human development and progress." End quote. This morning, as a community of faith, united in faith, standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity with all black women and men, including all racialized peoples. We make a firm commitment to being God's hands and feet, not only here at Cardinal Ambrosic, but in our homes, in our local communities, in our places of worship, and in our larger world. It is time to end the war of words and to begin to seek reconciliation with one another in order to bring authentic healing to a world that desperately is yearning for peace love, and unity. And so with that, let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the feet with which he goes about doing good, and yours are the hands with which he is to bless us now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Cardinal Ambrosic, have a great weekend. Um, get some rest um, physically, mentally, uh, emotionally. It's been a very difficult week for all of us. Um, enjoy the weather and um, good luck with your continued work with your CPTs. I know that those are now well underway. Have a great weekend, Cardinal Ambrosic. God bless you and we will see you back here on Monday.